Hey guys, my name is Brittany and welcome to my channel if you are new. My channel is all about productivity, so Etsy, side hustles, ways to make money. If that is something you are interested in, make sure to subscribe down below. Today I'm going to be going over a tutorial on how I would make a digital download on Canva for an Etsy shop. Make sure to subscribe to my channel just because um, I'm going to be doing more tutorials on Canva. My next video or one of my videos after that, I don't know exactly when I'm going to be posting it, um, is going to be about how I make my listing photos using Canva. And your listing photo is so important because it's the first photo that your buyers are going to see or your customers are going to see. So it is going to be ultimately the decision of whether they're going to click on your shop or in your listing or not. Sorry, that's my dog barking. <laughs> Okay, so in this example, I'm going to be making a habit tracker. Even if you're not making a habit tracker, I still would suggest you to watch this video just because I do show a lot of the basics of Canva. So I'm going to go on to www.canva.com and I'm going to go on the top right corner and click create a design and I'm going to scroll down to letter. This is the size of a, like a printer paper. You're going to want to stay away from any of these templates. So this top little bar right here, stay away from all of these. Um, you're not able to sell those. You're only able to use those for personal use. So if you're trying to find a resume for yourself, you're able to do that. But if you're trying to sell on, on any other kind of website like Etsy, Fiverr, Shopify, any of those, you are not able to use those. Okay, watching back that video, I realized that I did not explain that well enough. And I did want to come on here one more time just to clarify it because it is a really important topic. So what Canva states in their policy, and I do would recommend maybe you to go through it and just read it one time yourself so you, um, maybe you can get a full understanding on how all of their rules are because it's very important that you're not getting dinged for these kind of things, especially on Etsy because they give you three shots and you're out. So if you did three listings that all had one of Canva's templates on it, you are out and you are no longer to able to create another Etsy account ever again. So it's really important to do your research beforehand. So what their policy states that I did not clarify it well enough was that you have to make all of your digital downloads from scratch, not using any of the pro elements, so only the free elements you're able to use. Um, and you're not able to use any other templates. And if it does look similar to that, they can ding you for that as well. So you do just want to watch out and don't go looking through their templates to get some ideas because that is kind of going into a danger, dangerous territory. Along with that, I would stay away from any of the pro elements because if you do share a link with your customers, then they would need pro to be able to actually use that file. Okay, so I'm going to click text. You can also just type T if you want. And then I'm going to type in habit tracker. And I'm going to go up here and find a font that I like. I do like this barren one, but you can scroll through and keep clicking on them to see which ones you like. And then I'm going to increase the size. Okay. So for this Havoc Tracker, I want it to look like... Um, just kind of outlines of items and then every day they can do it. They can um, color it in. So it's going to be a seven day habit tracker. They can print it out every week if they'd like. Um, so I'm going to go on to elements and I would just type in water, but I already know that this one right here I want. And then I'm going to go make it to a size that I like. And I do it need seven in a row. So I do want to be pretty small. So I'm able to do that. I'm just going to click copy. So we're going to do command C and then command V because they do not let you right click and do that. I didn't count. So one. A little commercial break. 
Um, if you've enjoyed this video at all, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, I really would appreciate that. Now back to the video. Two, three. Don't worry about the spacing right now because we're gonna tidy that up right after. So we need two more. And then it's kind of getting close to the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just click on the page and hold, and then I'm just gonna kind of hoover over all of them so I get them as a group. And then once you get them as a group, you can kind of bring them back onto the page as well. You're gonna keep that, that all of them grouped right now and you're gonna click on position and then tidy up on the bottom. Okay, so now they're all even, but I still feel like that's pretty big. So I'm just gonna group them again and make them a little bit smaller. And if you wanna keep them grouped, you can just click group and they'll be grouped. And then if you don't want them grouped anymore, you're just gonna click on grouped. Okay, I'll keep them grouped. And then the next one I, on my habit tracker I'm gonna do is maybe a shoe for getting some exercise, but if you don't like that one, you can go find a different one. I just look up running icon or whatever you're trying to do icon. So you get this one that you are able to draw in. It's a really big. So I'm not gonna be able to perfectly match with the water just because it is a different dimension. So, that looks great to me. And then I see that it's a different color and I wanna make it all kind of look the same. So I'm gonna click on the color icon and you can see your document colors. It's already on there. So we can just click that. And perfect. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the other one. I'm gonna copy it and paste it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might have done two on one accident. We'll see. little bit big so we're gonna make them smaller again and then we're gonna go in position and tidy up and then if you want to make them even to this one right here you can, you're just gonna wanna go over it to it and then you can see that line on the right, right there, the dashes, uh, that's telling you that the shoes are even with the water drop. So then you're gonna wanna go and make this one even as well. There we go, perfect. It is even, so they're the same size. Oh, I do wanna group those as well so I don't untidy them. So then if I were to maybe do a food, but if that's not some, necessarily something you want to do, you can do something else. I'm just going to do food because a lot of times if people are on a health kick, they're going to want to drink a lot of water, um, exercise, eat healthy. So I'm just going to add a food icon as well.
I'm actually gonna change this to fruit. Because a lot of them are coming up are unhealthy and that just does not make sense. Perfect, here is a strawberry. So I'm gonna, again, make it smaller. That still looks huge. That looks great to me. I'm gonna copy, paste again. As you can see, I am looking up a fruit icon and on the bottom right corner, it says subscribe. So I think that's a sign that you should subscribe to my channel. Perfect. And again, I'm just gonna reinstate, I'm gonna restate this again, that it does not have to be even because you're going to change it. And I just resized that one. So what I'm going to do is go and click the undo button just to get it back to its original size. Oh, I did it again. Shoot. Okay. I don't want to tidy up that close, but let's see. Perfect. And then we're going to go and make it similar size again and click group. And the next one, um, I read every single day. I try to read one chapter a day. So I'm going to go find a book icon, just trying to think of really healthy habits. And for this one in particular, if you were going to do something like this, what you could do is you could do a variation of um, habits. So maybe someone necessarily doesn't want to have the food tracker on there just because that's going to maybe promote some unhealthy habits. Um, then you could take that out and then have this one. So there's two different items. You could have one that just has water running books and this one that has water running food and books. So you could do different variations there. I'm actually gonna ungroup this one and because I totally forgot. Actually, I'm just gonna redo this one real quick just because I totally forgot to change the color. accident and I'm gonna position tidy up and then I'm gonna go and group them and make them apportion it okay so that one's not gonna let me so I'm just gonna make it even and this one again I'm gonna go in change the color to make them all the same color copy I'm actually going to make it smaller before we copy it. going to go and even these that this is going to be all of the habits that they're going to be tracking um that i'm going to put on this one but if you have more habits that you want to put down you can always do that and then on here i'm going to do that i'm going to click all of them and I'm gonna do position again and i'm gonna evenly space them vertically and they should all be perfectly evenly spaced and then if I want to just kind of explain what each icon means, I maybe would create a thing on the side that says the water drop means water, the running shoes means exercise, the 
Strawberry means eating healthy and the book means reading. But if you don't want to do that and you want to just kind of add them next to it, which is I'm going to do, I'm going to do no, water, water. And I'm going to decrease the size a little bit. That is even within it. Watching this back, I think that water intake would be a better name for it rather than just water. So you do want to be specific with these kind of designs that you are selling. on the screen if we need to we can make them all smaller again Oop, do not need to do that but they're all on the screen now i'm just gonna figure out the best spots for them perfect so maybe we want to make the habit tracker a little bit more standing out i'm just gonna go in and maybe bold but the letters are already are kind of bold. So what you could do is you go to effects and kind of click any of these. If you want it hollow or you want a shadow behind it, or if you want a background on it, I kind of really liked the hollow though. Ooh, I really like that one. We're going to do that one. That one actually is the winner. And if you want to make this more fun, you could have add some more colors. You can go into here and find some more stickers. You just got to keep your customer in mind. So maybe it's just a digital download and they're going to keep it on their iPad. Then you would want to change the dimensions and then you can maybe add more stickers to that. After I stopped screen recording, I just didn't love this habit tracker. So I was trying to figure out what I could critique to make it better. Sorry, my dogs are here. So if you see fur, that's what it is. So I decided that the words should be above the icons and I think it looks a lot better. So this is how it ended. Thank you so much for watching today. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if it's helped you out at all, or if you just enjoyed watching it. It really does help out our channels if, when you do give us thumbs up, so I would appreciate that if you would spend the time doing that today. But have a lovely day. Bye.